Okay, I think that's at the end of the previous video. I stopped it because I heard the sound cut out, and so I just want to go over that part again. That uh, we had just figured out that one standard deviation above the mean meant that we had 4.07 bedrooms. And so if we are greater than that amount, greater than 4.07 bedrooms, we must have five bedrooms or six bedrooms. And there are a total of 15 plus eight or 23 houses that have a number of bedrooms greater than 4.07. Let's move on to number three then. And so we've got the distribution of the weights for the football club correct to the nearest kilogram. If they're correct to the nearest kilogram, that means they've all been rounded to the nearest whole number. So surprisingly, this is actually an example of discrete data, because they've all been rounded to the nearest whole number. So when we're drawing our histogram, we actually are going to have a little gap between 49 and 50, because although the normal weights would be continuous, we could have a weight of 49.3, if we're rounding to the nearest kilogram, well then it's going to round down to 49, while 49.6 would round up to 50, so we'll end up with a gap between 49 and 50. All right, so let's create our histogram. From 40 to 49, we've got a height or a frequency of 6. And from 50 to 59, we have a height of 18, a frequency of 18. And then from 60 to 69, we have a height of frequency, that is, of 14. And lastly, from 70 to 79, we've got a height of just 4. And there's our histogram says to write down the mid-interval value for the 40 to 49 interval. Well, let's see, 40 plus 49, if we're finding the midpoint, we'll divide by 2, and that gives us 44.5 is the mid-interval value. Part C, it wants us to come up with an estimate for the mean weight. Well, we know that to find a mean weight that's worth two points, we should probably show the method first. So let's see, we've got our mid-interval value of 44.5 which is multiplying by its frequency of 6. The next interval has a mid-interval value of 54.5, which needs to multiply by its frequency of 18. Then we've got a mid-interval value in the next category of 64.5, which goes up to a height of 14. And lastly, 74.5, which has got a frequency of 4. And we'll take that amount and divide it by 42, because if you add together these four frequencies, 6 plus 18 plus 14 plus 4, you'll find that we've got 42 members of the football team. Um, we could type this into the calculator and work it out, but I'm happy just to uh, trust the calculator to do this. So if I go into Stat and Edit, I need to clear my old list. So let's go up to List 2, Clear. Let's come over to List... Oops, Enter. Clear, Enter. There we go. And go up to List 1, Clear, and Enter. And now I'm ready to put in my four different heights. Uh, whoops, is it heights or weights? It's weights, isn't it? 44.5, 54.5, 64.5, 74.5. Those are my four interval, mid-interval values. And my frequencies are 6, 18, 14, and 4. And now I can go into stat, calculate, one var stats of list 1 and list 2. And it will tell me that my mean is 58. And I'm sure you would get the exact same answer if you actually typed this calculation here into the calculator. And having done one of our stats, we can also see what the standard deviation is, 8.44. correctly, 6, 18, 14, and 4. Yeah, it all looks okay. So I like these answers. I hope they're all right. Let's go down to number 4. All right, the temperatures in Geneva are measured for 8 days. These are the results. The mean is known to be 7. Well, we know that the mean is equal to the sum of the values, including this unknown temperature, T, 
divided by the number of values of which we know that there are eight because it was recorded on eight different days. The eight moves up to this side as we multiply both sides by eight. Seven plus four plus five plus four plus eight plus fourteen plus four gives us forty-six. And so 56 is equal to 46 plus t. That means that 56 minus 46 is equal to t. And we can conclude that t is equal to 10. Part b, we need to write down the mode. That's the number that occurs the most frequently. So let's remember now that t is equal to 10. The number that occurs the most frequently is obviously 4. It's the only one that occurs three times. So the mode is 4. I suppose to be quite correct, I should probably be putting down the units as well, which is in degrees Celsius. And lastly, the median. A good way to find the median without bothering to put the numbers in order would be to just take off the highest number and the lowest number. And now of all your remaining numbers, take off your highest and your lowest. Of all the remaining numbers, take off your highest and your lowest. And we're down to two numbers, not a surprise because we've got an even number of data, and the average between 5 and 7 is equal to 6 degrees Celsius. Of course, another way of doing this would have been to go into my one var stats, stat, uh, oops, stat calculate, one var stats again, list 1, comma, list 2, and it should give me the median there if I scroll down. Yes, there it is, 50... Oh, wait a second. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I've got my, my, all my old data. I never changed my uh, stat values. Give me a moment to do that, please. So I'm just going to clear the old list 2. So clear, enter, and let's clear list 1, clear, enter, and let's put in our new data here. So we've got 7, 4, 5, 4, 8, 10, 14, and 4. And let's quit and now do my stat calc. One of our stats on just list 1. I don't have any frequencies in this particular situation. And I can scroll down and read my median is, yes, just like I thought, it is 6. Okay, let's go on now to number 5. Here's a random sample of 200 females that measured the length of their hair. We can see the cumulative frequency curve, otherwise known as an ogive. The median length is going to be right the one in the middle. In between 0 and 200 is 100. So we'll trace across at 100, and then trace down, and you'll find that it gets to 26 centimeters. Part B, find the interquartile range. Well, let's start by finding the upper quartile. The midpoint between the median and the max is at 150. So let's trace that across and then trace it down. And we'll find that we are at 33. So our interquartile range will be 33 minus the lower quartile, which occurs right in between the median and the minimum. So right between 100 and 0 is 50. And we trace that down, we end up getting 19. So 33 minus 19, there's 14 centimeters of interquartile range. Part C, given that the shortest length is 6 and the longest length is 47, let's draw a box and whisker plot. All right, so I'll draw my box first. My median was 26, so let's draw a line at 26. There's my median. And then I've got an upper quartile at 33. I've got a lower quartile at 19. Let's connect that box. Okay, there's my box. And then my uh, maximum is 47. And my minimum is 6. And then we'll draw whiskers. And I should have used a ruler for all of these. I hope you did. Um, and we don't have to worry about checking for outliers because we know that IB is actually not evaluating that particular skill. So let's just skip it and move on to number six. This histogram shows the weights of frozen chickens in a supermarket. So we've got weights in between one and two, weights in between two and three. So this one has been done continuously where there's no gaps in between the bars on the histogram. First of all, we need to draw in the frequency polygon. That means taking the middle value at the top of each bar and connecting them with straight lines.
And there's your frequency polygon. Part B asks us to find the total number of chickens. And that's going to be the sum of all of the frequencies, isn't it? So we've got a frequency of 8 plus a frequency of 24 plus a frequency that goes all the way up to 50. And the last frequency is at 14. And that gives us a total number of chickens of 96. Okay. And then we write down the modal group. And the modal group is the one that occurred the most frequently. And I can see that the highest bar came all the way to 50. What was the modal group? What is the name of that bar? It's everything in between 3 and 4. And so uh, using their notation of weight in between 3 and 4, where 3 is included and 4 is not, our answer then is going to be weight is less than 4, but greater than or equal to 3. Okay, and I will do the last two problems in the next video to finish off.